We're live. Give me a second to confirm the stream. Good morning. Welcome to New York City Council's remote committee hearing on housing and buildings. Everyone, please turn on your video at this time. Silence all electronic devices. All written testimony can be submitted to testimony at council.nyc.gov. Thank you, Chairperson Sanchez. We are ready to begin. Thank you so much, Sergeant. Good morning, everyone. I am Councilmember Birina Sanchez, Chair of the Committee on Housing and Buildings. Thank you all for joining us today, and especially to my colleagues, Councilmember Barron, Councilmember Kagan, Hudson, Aviles, Dinowitz, Carr, Caban, Feliz. We are here today to vote on intro number 70, a bill that is critical to ensuring that rent stabilization can continue in New York City upon proper finding of the Housing and Vacancy Survey. Last year, the New York City Department of Housing, Preservation and Development, in collaboration with the US Census Bureau, connected the city's triennial housing and vacancy survey or HVS. The HVS is a critical survey for New York City, not only because it provides key data about the state of the city's housing stock, but also because it is, because it is used to determine whether the city's rent stabilization laws can continue. Rent stabilization laws protect 1 million renter households each year in New York City from wrongful eviction and unreasonable rent increases and other protections as well. Ordinarily, the HVS is conducted every three years and was, it, was last con it was last scheduled to take place in, two, in 2020. That year's HVS was postponed in part due to the 2020 census and in part, of course, delays because of COVID-19. The state and the city passed legislation to extend the deadline by one year. And today, the committee is voting on another extension of three additional months, months which will be authorized, uh, which were authorized by state legislation. This extension will provide HPD and the US Census Bureau additional time to thoroughly complete their analysis of the 2021 HBS, which inc also incorporated a new module uh, related to COVID-19. Intro number 70, which I am sponsoring, would extend the expiration of the city's rent stabilization laws from April 1st, 2022 to July 1st, 2022. I would like to thank my colleagues again from the Housing and Buildings Committee for joining today. And now I'm gonna turn it over to our committee counsel, Audrey Sun, to go over some procedural items. Um, Chair, there are, uh, we can just turn it to the clerk at this time. Okay, thank you, Audrey. We'll turn it over to the clerk. All right, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on housing and buildings. Introduction 70, Chair Sanchez. Aye. Dinowitz. Aye. Feliz. Proudly vote aye. Aviles. Aye. Barron. I vote aye. Caban. Aye. Thank you. One moment. Hudson. Aye. Thank you. Kagan. Aye. Very important. Aye. Thank you. Carr. Nay. By vote of eight in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstention, item has been adopted by the committee. Uh, Madam Chair, that is a full committee. Thank you so much. I want to thank all of my colleagues uh, for joining today, and I will see you at the stated meeting.